Hi there, I'm the real Jason Duncan. Thank you for tuning in again for another video for weekly wisdom for business leaders. Before we get into today's weekly wisdom tip, I want to encourage you to go to resultsuniversity.org. It's a brand new online university that's dedicated to providing a premier education for today's entrepreneurs and business leaders. Please go to resultsuniversity.org. Also, if you haven't followed me on LinkedIn or Instagram, you can look me up at the real Jason Duncan and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash C slash The Real Jason Duncan. I post weekly wisdom videos every Monday and I post a Friday sales tip video every Friday. So let's get on with our tip for weekly wisdom today. Today's tip comes from Proverbs 3, 7 and 8, where it says this. King Solomon said, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Wisdom is something we all should seek. It's something we should want more than just about anything else. For if we're truly wise, then we will be able to move through life much more successfully. But it should be noted that wisdom teaches us to be humble. Humility is freedom from pride or arrogance. It is the quality or state of being humble, which is about having a spirit of deference or submission to others. The funny thing about humility is that if you think you have it, you don't. Since you are subscribed to this channel and are watching this video, I assume that you are a leader in your company. You are a leader for a reason. You have wisdom that others do not. And that wisdom has earned you the right and privilege of leading your respective departments. I want to thank you for your wisdom. And that wisdom, if exerted properly, will take your company to much greater heights. There is a warning, however, about wisdom in this proverb. Solomon reminds us in this short proverb that wisdom is important, but that it should not be exercised unless it's exercised in humility. We'd all agree that Abraham Lincoln was extremely wise, and as such became one of the most admired presidents in United States history. While his wisdom was great, his humility is what made him so admired. Lincoln once got caught up in a situation where he wanted to please a politician. So he issued a command to transfer certain regiments during the Civil War. And when the Secretary of War, Edwin Stanton, received the order, he refused to carry it out. He said that the president was a fool. Lincoln was told what Stanton had said and he replied, if Stanton said I'm a fool, then I must be, for he is nearly always right. I'll see for myself. As the two men talked, the president quickly realized that his decision was a serious mistake, and without hesitation, he withdrew it. Had Lincoln relied more on his wisdom than the wisdom of his direct reports, he would have made a terrible mistake. Wisdom will make us successful as we execute our daily duties as leaders. However, it is humility that will make us great. Don't overestimate your wisdom. Be open to the advice and the perspectives of others. If we do this consistently, it will not only help us become great, but it will make this place, your place, a much more refreshing place to work. I hope that helps you as a business leader. Be more wise this week. I will see you next Monday when we do another video on Weekly Wisdom. Until then, remember, Jesus is King.